this. Instead of going through all of this hassle, what you could do is simply do what? 3 times the 2.5 plus 5 times what? 8.5. You guys with me on that? Plus 10 times. Is that, tr is, is that right? Instead of having to write all that stuff down. And then, but even writing this down is somewhat of a hassle. Is that true? So here's what you're going to do. If you organize your table by saying, OK, I need a frequency times a midpoint column of information. If I get this, and then finally at the very end, do what with all that information? Add them. Isn't that what I'm doing right here? Isn't that, what, isn't that the whole process I'm doing here? The answer is yes. So if I were you, if I have to compute a mean, and I'm given what? What is this? If I have to compute a mean, and they give me, what's this called? Huh? What's it called? If I have to compute a what? A mean, and I'm given frequency table. More importantly, I'm really saying, how is my data organized? How is this organized? My data is organized in what? Bins or groups, right? If I have group data organized in these bins and I have to compute a mean, I'm going to go about it this way. Meaning that my formula for group data to compute a mean is sum frequency times the midpoint divided again by n. Okay? And that's why you'll see in your book two different mean formulas. Okay? One is for group data, the other one is for data given to you this way as a list or a list of data. Okay? You guys okay with this? Well, let's see. What's 3 times 2.5? 5? 5 times 8.5. What is it? 42.5. 10 times 14.5. 4 times 20.5. 82. And 2 times 26.5. What do you do with those values now? You add them, and what do you get? What do you get? Is it 30? 330. Ah, 330. Do you guys know what this is? This is the sum of the frequency times midpoint column. So that's your numerator here. The mean will be 330 divided by what is the value of n? Anybody? Know? Ah, what is n? Definition n is what again? The sample size. You want to know what the most, the most common incorrect answer? The most common incorrect answer is what? Why? I don't even want to say it, but I did. Why is that wrong? You guys have five bins. You don't have five data values. How many data values do you have? 24. Good. Remember? N is the sum of the what? Frequencies. You got to get that tattoo. So it's really what again? 24. What's 330 divided by 24 approximated to the nearest tenths position? 13 point what? 13.8. So here's the story. If this frequency table represented how far students live from campus, right? Because that was the original premise, the original question. What we can say is that the average student lives what? 13.8 miles away. 
And this is how you compute a mean when you're given a frequency table here where you have your data that's in, that's in groups or bins. You guys okay with this? Is that easy or is that hard? Okay. 